I'm still on the forest access road here. Had to park my truck behind me because I'm not making it up this hill. I bet you there's right here on the right skis probably 12, 14 inches of snow still. So good thing I'm uh, still two weeks out of the excavator rental, maybe three at this rate. The boys don't like the 23 degree weather. Cooling off. We're walking in. And most of it's like this. Oh, he just soaked me. So it's not too bad, but we do have our problem areas, especially for heavy equipment. Well, we made it in. Look at this lumber pile now that I'm not on snow. It's over six feet for sure. All the snow seems to be melted for the most part other than some shady spots. There's one spot it came right up over my rubber boots. Garbage just fell out of my pocket, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Lockers tipped over. Oh, boards tipped over. That's where I had that fire. Lots of stubborn still. So we're gonna. There's that split block over there. Didn't see it all winter. And the uh, <laughs> toolbox melted into a valley. We're just gonna organize things again. I checked the trail cams at the end of the day and I saw this fellow. So it could have been a combination of both snow melting or this nosy fellow waking up for spring he was there just uh, the day before us on the saturday i found a little bit of snow that was still there you can see i got my drinks on snow too we were burrow casting some shade but, oh dinky so it's four o'clock april 16th in the breath <laughs> so we tidied some stuff up we had the toolbox there and the water tote and the wheelbarrow and pelican so we got pickaxe out leveled the spot up there put some boards down so the totes there with a pretty crappy tarp full of holes strung up to try to collect some water save on trucking in we just got stuff organized all those little things little boards that were just Loose around here, restack this stuff. All the camping stuff's in there. Got two tables, two chairs, two sawhorses, two step ladders, an extension ladder, pails. There's my crude setup up there. So we got this fastened to a little deck, screwed to the tree, contractor garbage bag. Uh, plug in the holes in the top and then just stack some boards there to give it some overhang and duct taped all the holes that were on the sides and back so all three are right full of tools and screws and nails and whatever else that's probably the least full one clamps chainsaw stuff anyway i well, just unloaded it out of the truck, got it parked, got my uh, chainsaw, homemade chainsaw pack loaded up here with a bit of an odd load. Got a couple new silky toys to play with. And there's a yard light that I'm going to install on a tree up there and some signs, security signs. So I could screw that all to the frame, so that was the reason for bringing that. But uh, I had two of those yard lights. Ordered like four years ago for a smoking deal online. Miss uh, 
misread the fine print, I guess. They're dust till dawn. I was after a motion sensor, so I never did install them. So I brought one of them up here. So it's April 23rd today. I imagine this is one of the couple spots that has snow. Pretty well all gone, which is good because in four days I'll be bringing in heavy equipment. But it's all because of the shaded young growth here. And it was very deep of snow in there. Part of what we're doing today is basically I just uh, travel all the old skitter trails in through this crown land. And what works pretty good in the wintertime will suck with heavy equipment. And in the summertime, because we have all this mud and springs running off the hill to deal with. So there's a skitter trail that goes up and through there. It's these high and dry. So I'm going to be marking that with marking tape today. But this is so wet down in through here. And there's a couple big rocks and drops. Like that there is a, a probably 28 inch drop there. And you can see the water flowing down here. And just around that corner down there it is a I don't know probably 40 foot smooth rock that's uh, very steep which rubber tracks on wet rock and I still have chains on my tractor that's gonna be no good so we're gonna take this road over here that I'm gonna mark right now of course it's gonna take some time to trim back the young growth that came up but Gotta do what we gotta do. So we made it in, as you can see. I didn't get as much water as I'd hoped. My tarp job was uh, questionable. But we do have about uh, three inches, two inches in the bottom there. I might flip my pelican over. I'm not sure if it's watertight or not. And let it catch some water. And all the wash basins and stuff, set them out in pails. I think a lot of it's overflowed because I only have a, I only have a little wee hole. Might redo this. There's a rock in there holding it in and then, anyway, we'll do, we're gonna move. All of that stuff, stack it somewhere else, and that pile. Much better temperatures today. But I, I had marking tape in my coat. It was taking too long, especially with the pack on, to be tying stuff. So I brought marker paint to mark the ground for the foundation when the excavator and the tractor get working away. Um, but it was way quicker just to put a dot on either side of the tree parking the new way in. So there's a couple tricky spots, but other than that, it was all high and dry. There's one, well, right at the beginning, there was the water coming down that hill where we diverted left. And then right at the end, there's another stream. Um, in the future, probably a couple bridges, but uh, should be able to get them through. We're gonna, so the excavator's coming. This Thursday is delivered, and we got all Friday, Saturday, Sunday with it, and then they pick it up Monday. And my tractor's here the whole time, and potentially another one. So hopefully we can cut that whole new trail real crude, like we're not making a highway in here. The goal is to get the cabin built, but obviously we have to poke a hole for the equipment to walk in without getting bogged down in the mud. And... Uh, then if I have time at the end, when this is all, all the work's done around here with the machines on the way out, I can tidy things up just to make it easier in the winter time for more loads coming in. I'm gonna have to put the coat back on. I think it's only six or eight degrees Celsius, but it's breezy. It's much better walking in than last Sunday. I decided to do this recon today with the dogs and 
bring stuff in that wouldn't uh, trail her very well. Those came with the camera, so I figured I'd use them. There's one new toy from Silky, their chopper. Figured I'd use that for Kinlin instead of the hatchet and clearing little stuff on trails, walking trails and stuff. It's just uh, a little safer not swinging the sharp tool. You can just set it on the log and then pound it with another truck of firewood. And then I have a fixed curve silky, same length blade, uh, but I got a folding one. Uh, straight blade, finer teeth, and it's gonna, if I can't cut all the way through some of the heavier timbers, I'll just uh, finish it off with that. Yeah. Anyway, I got a oh, 30 fleet of cord. There's a uh, spool of 14 2 that was left at the house by the previous owner for his yard lights that he had all over the place for the deer. But I uh, just routed out a pocket for all the wires to run in behind and screwed it right to it and then just put some putty tape on the top edge. So uh, no water wants to run down into the box and we're simply just gonna screw this most likely to a tree. Uh, giving me like five feet of tail down at the ground level. And that'll uh, allow me to keep, it's, I forget how many lumens it is, but it is bright. Um, it'll allow me to keep working. When I spend the nights here, trying to get this project done. We're gonna screw that somewhere. Not sure which one, because I don't know if that, that pine tree is coming down or not. I might fasten it to this one. This one's coming down behind the camera, and this one that leaned up will get rid of that stump when we have the excavator. So. Anyway, we'll touch back with you once... Uh, Oh, this stuff's moved. Don't know where it's going yet. Have to figure that out as well. Don't have a saw or anything with me other than the, the hand saw and a maul, I guess, and the hatchet. Anyway, I'll think through that on my own, but I definitely need to speed up the rainwater collection. There's water nearby. It's just I don't wanna waste time and energy carting it in. So if I can get a couple hundred liters in that, it's supposed to rain all week this week, so. Maybe I'll rig up my tarp a little differently, try to capture some more. Oh, we got a turkey vulture right there. Just flew with tops of the trees right above me. They're such good gliders. The dogs are distracted by them now. Anyway, I'm babbling. Get a doozy. Not the smoothest ground. Other than not very good aim a couple times, I did get one on top of the tarp and I put a hole in it so you have to duct tape that spot. But as you can see, I fixed up the tarp with some boards, some rocks, some more string. Hopefully I can collect a bunch more. And then uh, I'll pan over there at the end, but I'll have the wheelbarrow, the pelican, and all my pails that I have up here all sitting out. And then uh, when I come up next, I'll just be able to dump them in the, the tote. So I'll go up there and stack a little bit better. I just need this whole flat area empty so we can do the foundation and I need a bit of room for the equipment. The tractor's fairly long, probably 16 feet with the loader. And uh, it's my mixer on. So even if I had to spin it around down here, it's uh, tight. 
because I, I don't know what this would be. Say, say it's 36 feet to this flat rock out to the edge, maybe a bit more in certain spots. And then uh, it's probably 45 feet in that direction from this tree. And then the rest of it's pretty irregular. So all this poplar that I dropped, there might be one or two more I do. I'm probably gonna make a retaining wall with the big round lengths when I have the excavator here and try to uh, give myself a, a little better runway onto this plateau and uh, make it a little flatter because the, the soil is gonna have to go somewhere. So I'll just pile it against the logs and some of those log rounds and stuff. It'll be a bit, a few years before I'm burning any amount of wood and I'm only up here on the weekends. And what I have here and stacked along the trail from having to drop beech trees. I'll have, there's no shortage of firewood here. I don't need to keep those big poplar that are hard to split when they're so big around. So yeah, we're just gonna tidy up my mist throws once I get this wherever empty and uh, be on our way. So thanks again for watching. For all the people that have been around for three years now, hard to believe all I have is a, a tote and a pile of firewood. No, it's been beginning of COVID was when this idea came about when you couldn't do anything. Started it without even having a chunk of property at the time and now I have this and just about all the material needed to build it is almost in. And definitely don't doesn't happen overnight that's for sure. Realistically it's probably a five year project to be start to finish. As long as the funds allow for it. Still got a life to live outside of this. And everything keeps getting more expensive. We'll add a couple more duct tape patches. But That's three years that have gone by. We'll see what we can do in the next two. Be a little bit more interesting for you is to actually see some progress. And for me, I'd love to see some progress. It'll be much better when it, it gets far enough along that it's pretty comfortable to stay here overnight and not have to uh, put tools away every time it starts to rain on you and stuff like that. That's a little annoying because I don't have much protection from the weather yet. Yeah. It's coming up. So I'll dump this out. Put it here flat. And that should, I got two more Home Depot pails left to put a rock in. There's one there by the camera. So they don't blow over until they get water in them. And I'll have two wash basins, two two gallon pails, two five gallon pails of Wilbro, that tart. Anyway, see you next week. Just up there is where I ended up putting the light so there's about eight feet of cord at the bottom i just have it strapped to the tree there but we got all that stuff sitting out and we're gonna lock up and get out of here